Lucinda's Secret, the third book in the Spiderwick Chronicles series by Tony Dieter Lidzi and Holly Black, continues the saga of the Grace children, Jared, Simon, and Mallory, as they delve deeper into the mysteries surrounding their great-great-uncle, Arthur Spiderwick's field guide to the fantastical world around you. Following their previous encounters with magical creatures within the hidden world, the siblings' adventures become even more perilous as they seek to protect the field guide from those desiring its wealth of knowledge. The story begins with the Grace children pondering the true power of the field guide and the danger it poses not only to them, but to all magical creatures. As they struggle with the responsibility, they debate the idea of destroying the book to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands. Despite their concerns, the children decide to learn more about their ancestor, Arthur Spiderwick, the author of The Field Guide. With this intent, they visit their Aunt Lucinda in the hospital. Lucinda, considered mad by many, is in fact the daughter of Arthur Spiderwick and has insight into the world of fairies. The children hope that she will provide them with more information about their great-great-uncle's disappearance, as well as advice on how to handle the guide. During their visit, Lucinda reveals details about her father's work and eventual disappearance. She explains that one day he simply vanished, presumably taken by the fairies due to his extensive knowledge of their kind. She warns them to rid themselves of the book, implying that it only brings misfortune. Despite her warnings, the children's interest in magic continues to grow. Motivated by Lucinda's hints about hiding the book and aided by a map she offers them, they decide to search for Arthur Spiderwick's secret library, where he hid all of his research before the field guide came to be. Before they leave, however, Lucinda urges them to speak to her uncle's friend, an old Fuka who will have valuable advice. The siblings embark on their quest following Lucinda's map, which leads them to a secret library hidden within the Spiderwick estate. The actual journey to the library is fraught with challenges, including a close encounter with a troll which they narrowly escape by cleverly tricking it. Upon reaching the location Lucinda provided, they find themselves disappointed as there appears to be no library present. However, their perseverance pays off when Jared by chance discovers a false wall that leads them into the secret library. Inside Arthur's hidden library, the atmosphere is ghostly and unsettling, filled with Spiderwick's notes and sketches, which gives them a greater understanding of their great-great-uncle's obsession with the other world. During their exploration, they encounter the very Fuka Lucinda had mentioned. The Fuka is a mysterious, shape-shifting being who speaks to them in riddles. Although his communication style is confounding, he imparts a crucial tip. The guide must be given to the one who wants it most. The children ponder the Fuka's advice, and deduce that he is referring to the malevolent ogre Mulgarath, who is willing to do whatever it takes to obtain the field guide. The siblings realize the gravity of the situation, as Mulgarath commanding such knowledge poses a significant threat to both their world and the world of fairy. After the tense meeting with the Fuka, the children are ambushed by a band of elves who demand the field guide. The elves, including their leader Kattingir, are not hostile, but possess a majestic, regal quality. During this encounter, the Grace children learn that Jared is perceived as the owner of the book and is thus in the center of the fairy conflict. The situation becomes a standoff as the children refuse to surrender the guide, and the elves withdraw peaceably, but not without warning the Graces of the imminent danger they are in. The elves do, however, grant the children a protective charm, signifying that some factions within the magical realm do not wish them harm. In the aftermath of these daunting interactions, the Grace children return home to thoroughly analyze the new data they've gathered from the secret library and their encounters with magical beings. Now they are fully aware that they possess something that everyone in the realm of fairy, for better or worse, desires deeply. While at home, more peculiar occurrences unfurl. Letters from the field guide come to life, and Thimbletack, the house boggart who has been both friend and foe, becomes increasingly agitated and warns Jared about wearing the seeing stone, a magical stone that allows the children to see fairies. Thimbletack's behavior intensifies as he feels Jared is not heeding his cautious words. 
Amidst this new level of danger, the children opt for a temporary solution. Rather than destroying the guide, they decide to lock it away, placing it in a chest with multiple locks, hoping to buy themselves some time as they continue to figure out the best course of action. The Grace siblings wrestle with the moral implications of their choices. While the field guide contains incredible wisdom, they question whether or not they should use it or protect it at all costs. The pressing question of how to navigate their relationship with the other world remains unanswered as they struggle to decipher friend from foe among the fairies. As the book closes, the children remain in a precarious position, both haunted and hunted by the unseen world that lurks just beyond human sight. Their story is set to continue as they must face the ever-growing threats escalated by their possession of the field guide. Their journey is far from over, and it becomes apparent that the answers they seek may require them to make even tougher decisions in the future. In this installment of the series, Tony Dieterlidze and Holly Black delve deeper into the enchanting yet dangerous universe they have created, further entangling the Grace siblings in the complex affairs of fairies. Through Lucinda's secret, a story of wonder, caution, and peril unfolds, setting the stage for the subsequent chapters in the Spiderwick saga. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.